Hello, this is Sally from Sally B Jewelry. I'm going to be doing a demo this morning on how to use the WAGS Y cone. Uh, they do come in three sizes. There's the original, uh, which has a an average size cone. Um, it's, it's about an inch long, uh, about 14 millimeters wide. Um, and then there's the mini, which is just a teeny bit wider than the original but it's shorter so the the um, the cone itself you know gets wider shorter if that makes sense um, and then there's the the longer maxi which is about two inches long um, which will make a very gradual taper if you want a very small um, narrow cone you can use just the tip of it you don't have to use the full length because the hole is at the top and you're going to work down. Um, so for this demo, I'm going to be using the original to start. Um, and you can use many different wires. Um, I find what works best is the either the 20 gauge wire or the 22 gauge wire. Um, they come in lots of different colors. You can get, you know, I have a, a brown wire here. Um, they, they're, you know, this is a nice light pink, which is very pretty. Um, I have a gold, and of course I have some silver. And for this um, demo, I'm going to be using a piece of the brown. So I usually just, you know, let some of the coil out. I don't cut it because um, if I cut it and don't use it all then I end up with these little pieces so just leave it attached and cut it at the end and that will usually work um, some other tools that you need is your round nose pliers um, uh, just a regular needle nose pliers you can use the round for both but I tend to use both um, you're gonna need a wire snipper and you if you have a pair of the nylon coated flat pliers they come in handy for straightening out your wire so if you have a little crink crimp in your wire you can just hold on to it and give it a tug and it will um, straighten it out okay so you, there's a couple of different methods for starting um, you can use um, I'm going to just use a scrap here to show you um, the different methods and let me straighten it out Okay, so you what you can do is you can take your wire and put it through the little hole and then you can just very loosely, the very first wrap that you wrap around, if you do it on the loose side, um, you'll form just a small little hole here or a little little loop where it's not really close to the um, the cone I hope I hope that shows and then you can continue to wrap around and I'm not going to go the whole way but anyway that, doing that little um, it's just hard getting this close in the camera where you can see what I'm talking about um, so anyway there's a little gap here and that makes it easy for you to come in and um, snip it later so that the piece that goes through the cone can slide out okay so that's one method um, the other method is to take your needle nose pliers and make a simple loop like that and then you're going to stick the loop in and I haven't really found whether it's better to have the loop coil around so that the, the, the long end is away from you or whether it's better to do it the other way. I really haven't um, experienced a huge difference on which way you have it facing um, so don't worry about it. Um, so anyway you're going to put the short little end in and then loop it around 
and then again when you're done you just use your wire snippers and you can cut the loop and the end falls out and then the whole thing comes off okay so I'm going to use the loop method with this brown and I'm just going to loop it around like so so you have a little bit of a loop and I'm going to put it in the hole and I'm going to wrap it around. Now when I'm wrapping I am pulling up on the up on the wire so that it's away from the cone that you're making and that makes it a nice tight coil um, and then you're just going to keep wrapping the cone around until it's the length that you want it to be. I hope I'm keeping this in focus for you. Okay, and when you have it, the cone, the length that you want, just use your, your, your snippers and give it a Give it a cut, and that way, you, like I said, you don't have this little piece left over because you left it on your coil. And then the top part, you're going to take that little loop that we made, and you're going to, I don't know, hopefully you can see that there's a loop here, um, and I'm going to cut that. And the piece that's going through the hole will just slide out and then the whole thing will slide off. So now you're left with a nice tight little cone that you can use in your jewelry. Um, what I do at the end is, um, oops, <laughs> is I take my pliers and you can use your needle nose, you can use your, your, your you know, regular needle nose or your round and just take the end of it, just the tip of it and give it and see how my needle noses are starting to twist here that's why I tend to like the regular needle nose better but anyway just give it a um, a bend inward you know keep it coiled while you're doing that but just bend it inward so now you have um, this coil and then a straight bar and then go in and cut the little bar off. And what that will do is your rough edge from cutting will be on the inside of the coil. So it's not going to catch on, you know, your skin or, um, you know, your clothing or anything. Uh, it just gives it a nice smooth edge. And you can do the exact same thing at the top of the cone. This one I want to snip off just a little bit first just because it's a little narrower at that end. And same thing, just take the very, very tip and just bend it inward, okay? And if you're gonna put this on your jewelry and you're gonna do a normal wire wrap, just pretend this is a, you know, a regular cone that you purchased in, you know, in the store. You're gonna do your regular wire wrap where you're gonna put your your wire, your you know, wire through through your braid. Fold the ends up, put it through a bead, and then continue to make your loop and wrap it around. Um, and then it secures it nicely to your braid. So here's this is one that I finished, um, and I just did a lobster claw clasp. Um, you can use a you know a toggle or any clasp that you want. Um, but it just gives it a nice finished edge. Um, so that's how you can do that. You can also use two colors if you want. Uh, two colors gives it a nice, um, nice braid. Um, what you would do for the two colors is just bring your, um, you know, two colors of braid. I'm, I'm just 
going against my rule here about not snipping this until you're done, but since I'm just doing a demo, um, I don't want this to be too cumbersome since I have to keep my hands in the, the lens here. <laughs> so anyway, you're going to take your wire, place them close together, um, and stick them through through the you know through the hole and I'm gonna do the loose method where I'm gonna first bend it and leave a little bit of a little bit of a gap there and then I'm gonna come in close and continue to wrap them around and you'll see that I get a nice um, spiral of the um, two colors which you know if you're working with a, a braid that has a two color spiral it makes a really nice uh, colorful end cap that matches your work and then the same thing because I left that loose loop at the top I can get my uh, cutters in there and and cut it off the uh, the tool so then those will slide out and you you will get a you know kind of double thing here because I was playing around and didn't have a full length um, it does look a little unusual um, but you can kind of just place it together and and finish off um, but anyway that's how you would make a, a two color one and then I'm going to do one more braid here, or one more wrap for my braid, and I'm going to make one of these um, beaded um, coils. And um, so I'm using um, some size 11 Toho beads that are the cylinder style. Um, I've loaded up a bunch of them already. Um, I did the regular the little loop on the end so they don't fall off. Um, I'm just basically using the end like a needle and I'm just going to load a few more in here so you could see. What I did just to help load them up is I cut the tip of the wire on just a slight angle so it forms more of a point, um, you know, like a needle. And then you can just keep um, stringing your, your beads onto the wire. Um, I used about five inches worth of beads. I don't have a count. Um, I will count them later and and post that when I post the uh, video. Um, so now um, you can take and just make a small crimp in your wire just so that they don't fall off. Um, and then I'm going to use the uh, mini and I'm going to insert just the way I did the last time. Um, I'm just going to work with just a few beads at a time uh, just to make it more manageable and I'm just going to start wrapping around and get it under that loop there and again keeping it as tight as you can you're going to just keep wrapping and then when you run out of beads you're just going to slide up some more and continue wrapping. Now because you're going around there's going to be a little space formed between each of the bead. Uh, you can't help that it's just the nature of the game. Um, so if you find some craft wire that's the same color as your bead then you won't have that that gap. Um, so just, like I said, just keep giving it some pressure and keep wrapping it around. And when you get to the end, just give it a bend forward so that, well, the beads still did pop off there. Um, didn't happen when I made it before. <laughs> Isn't that always the way that when you're doing the demo you get the problem. Um, so anyway just kind of fold it even if you get some of them coming off that's fine. Um, and then you're going to snip it like you did before. Um, 
and the one that the, the coil that's going through the rod will come out. You might lose a few beads, um, but anyway, once you get it, once you get it off, you're gonna take you're gonna take the tip and cut just so there's about an eighth of an inch left. Then you're going to take your pliers and you're going to take, hopefully you can see what I'm doing here because it's so tiny. You're going to take the tip of the coil and you're going to bend it back towards the the, um, the coil itself and give it a, a, a cinch in so that the beads themselves don't come you know, so that they don't come undone. Now, if if you have too much like I do, it's not going back. Just give it another step. And then you can basically just make a little, little, little loop at the end there so that the beads themselves don't come off. And you may have to play with it just a little bit, kind of re-spiral them around just in case any of them loosened up and, and came off. A little bit of practice, um, you'll be able to do this without any issues. Um, so again, um, I have a little gap there and I'm going to take the pliers and on the bare spot of wire I'm just going to bend it in and then I'm going to snip off the excess keeping the beads in place I'm just going to give it a snip again make sure your beads are away from the little end where you're going to be um, folding it over. It's almost kind of like working with memory wire where you end it by um, you know just making a fold in the end and and then you can take the end if you want and kind of bend it just downward a little bit so that it's on the inside of the coil it's not going to be in the way of using it and they won't come off. You could put a little drop of glue there if you wanted just to stop them from uncoiling but it makes a really cute little cone with the beads on it and um, I'll show you you know you, how it would fit on there and it, this braid here is a little small. I, I probably should have used the original and not the mini. But if you have something where, um, you know, you're using bigger beads, the magatamas. Um, of course, I have no scissors here. Um, I'm just going to use this. Okay. So, say you had some bigger, um, you know, bigger beads. Um, the the mini will fit down nicely over them and you can continue with your wire wrap with putting bead on the top and making your loop. So it does. It comes out very, very nice. Um, here's one that I did in in white and you can see that it, you know, fits on there nicely. It's a nice chunky bracelet, so it's a nice chunky swirl. I put the little bead stopper on to make the wire wrap so it stays snug. Um, and here's another one that I did with the beads. And again, I have a little um, rondelle. Give it a little sparkle up on the top. And let me show you one more time that this is just the regular wire. Um, this was done with the mini. Um, and it gives it a nice finished edge. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the, the tutorial and um, I do sell them on my site or you can get them directly from England or with Wags Wycone. I sell them here in the United States under sallybeadjewelry.com and I um, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.